Karma, this is your girl Mitzi, and this is Mitzi Thinking. This is episode 47. We are breaking out on Emotion Week, thinking about arrogance. Mm, that's a tricky emotion to deal with. A lot of people confuse confidence with arrogance, and a lot of people are arrogant. You know, doing this episode, I was able to realize that arrogance comes up with a lot of insecurities you know and i i have insecurities who doesn't have insecurities i think a lot of people have arrogance sometimes because everybody's dealing with insecurities you know and everybody's just trying to flip and figure it out life and just keep going and sometimes when you have to just keep moving and keep going and you have to act like you know what you're doing this emotion is going to appear to other people you know, because you're insecure, you're just trying to figure out life, you're just trying to get with with the program, you know what I mean, you're not quite sure what's going on, and then you have to deal with other people that expect you to know, you know what I mean, they, you deal with people in the world and they just expect you to know what you're doing, expect you to do this and this and that, but then that's when I feel like arrogance has to step down, you know what I mean, because there's certain areas in our lives where we just have to be vulnerable, you know, or just we have to just expose our our insecurities so that we can grow, you know, and I feel like arrogance is a tricky thing because when people don't want to be vulnerable and they don't want to show their insecurities, then they will hold on to this arrogance and then it will just be their personality trait, you know, and then that doesn't ever allow you to grow. So I feel like understanding the concept of arrogance in general as a whole and then breaking it down from the differences of confidence will possibly help you understand when you are being confident and when you're not, you know, and when you're just being an arrogant asshole, <laughs> you know, and I had to put it into perspective. I had to realize it and I reflect it now going forward and it's really helping me change my words change my actions change my perspective because nobody likes an arrogant asshole one first thing everybody's just trying to grow so to be able to grow you just have to just suck shit up and just be vulnerable because in those vulnerable moments not only will you grow the other person that you're being vulnerable to will also grow as well you know and that's one thing that i had to realize it's like i hate being I hate putting myself in a vulnerable position. I hate showing that I'm insecure. And I I hate that feeling. It just, I feel raw. You know, it makes me feel raw to the bone. And I don't like it. <laughs> but it's something that is also necessary for us to move forward and to be a better person. So let's define it. You know, let's define arrogance so that we can learn to control it, you know. So per CambridgeDictionary.com, arrogant is an unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than or no more than another person or just people in general. Sometimes you need to realize that you don't know more than everybody. You know, sometimes you need to realize that there are areas where you are very knowledgeable and you may be the person that knows all of the information. And then there you need to also remember that there are areas in your life and just in general where you have absolutely no idea. We need to remember that, okay? So I was able to find some research from psychologytoday.com basically stating five reasons why most arrogant people actually find success. Arrogant people express anger, number one, by expressing anger freely appears to be intimidating and intimidation is considered to be a good trait for a successful life. Number two, arrogant people are difficult and when people are difficult, a lot of the time people don't want to argue or deal with the difficultness. So they end up winning by the difficultiness and the, how the other person just forfeits. Number three, arrogant people are dominant and dominance has its own benefits because dominance can obtain someone power and dominance can even be attracted. Is number four, arrogant people think they are superior. And when people have that superior mindset, they also have that self-can-do attitude too, which provides benefits in itself. Because when you do that self-can-do attitude, you kind of just do it, you know, go Nike, do it type of deal. <laughs> number five, arrogant people attack individual study shows that when there's a heated discussion, instead of tackling the issue, they attack the person and make it personal. 
And that causes them to be intimidating, which takes us back to number one, where intimidation equals success. There you go, ladies. Maybe these arrogant people have something going for themselves. I don't know. <laughs> Fun facts from the ladders.com. 10 ways to tell if you're confident or arrogant. So let's think about it. Let's think about it. Number one, are you dropping names out of context? If you brag, it's arrogance. If you're referring a source that relates to the topic, it's just confidence. Number two, are you avoiding eye contact? Arrogant people will always be looking past you and looking for someone else. Confident people looks you in the eye to make you feel important. Number three, are you arriving constantly late without apologizing? Those are showing signs of arrogance by not being considerate to other people's time versus confidence is someone is quick to apologize and will always make the effort to be on time. Number four, using condescending phrases or put downs. Are you using condescending or phrases or put downs? Sometimes. <laughs> Arrogant people don't mind putting other people down while confident people will always be lifting up and always be encouraging other uh, individuals. Um, Number five, are you strutting your stuff, showing off your swagger when you're walking into a room? Well, that shows us you a little bit arrogant too. <laughs> it shows a type of dominating that you are trying hard you know versus confidence they're just open and less intimidating you know and number six is interrupting conversations frequently are you interrupting conversations frequently do you just want to interrupt me right now and just be like hey itsy i know what this really means well that shows you're not listening and you're just arrogant people who have confidence listen to everything and show sincerity to what's being said so if you're really not caring, then you are, are probably an arrogant person. But, you know, I just made me realize that, you know, sometimes we may just be arrogant to certain people and not to other people because I feel like sometimes I have to be arrogant to certain people so that they know I don't like them. <laughs> Is that wrong? Maybe. Dang it. I need to really think about this. Anyways, number seven, having an answer for everything, never admitting that you don't know. Arrogant people don't like to admit that they don't know things. They don't, you know, versus confident people aren't afraid to admit they don't know. And I think that's where I'm confident because I am very much not afraid to tell you that I don't know something because there's a lot of things I don't know and it's okay. <laughs> Number eight, always ones up the other person. Arrogant people feel the need to brag to think people will accept them or see them in a great way versus confident people don't feel the need to brag. Number nine, blast competitors. Arrogant people can't see the strength in their competitors versus confident people don't need to badmouth competitors because they are secure within themselves. Number 10, blame someone else. Arrogant people can't fess up to their own mistakes versus confident people aren't afraid to recognize, reflect, and resolve those matters that fell short on them. Not every moment is a blameable moment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's remember this. You cannot blame everything on anybody else. Sometimes you really have to just turn the finger back on you and see what was your part on the situation Alrighty, let's just jump right into the quotes i got you some three quotes today number one arrogance requires advertising confidence speaks for itself number two arrogance is used by the weak while kindness is used by the strong and last but not least a mistake that makes you humble is better than an achievement that makes you arrogant. Hmm. Are oh, you thinking with me? Well, I hope so. So I thank you. That is it. That's the show. I appreciate y'all for staying for episode 47. I am really excited to be this far in. Um, there's a couple more projects that I have coming out. I really hope that you guys stick around. Show me some love. Let's all think together. <laughs> Food for thought, don't look down on anyone unless you are bending down to pick them up. We need to be there for each other. <laughs> With that being said, bye y'all. Take care. Till next time.